So multiple times we are here at Bloodstock 2023. Today's Saturday, and I'm with the lads from Scora. How are you doing? Yeah, Morning. doing really good, mate. Awesome. I uh, understand you guys opened the new blood stage today, yeah? We did, yep. Yeah. Soundtrack to your breakfast, early morning slot. Uh, but it was fantastic. The crowd really uh, reacted to us well. They turned up as well, which is fantastic. Massive appreciation for that at 10.30 in the morning. Um, but the experience was just amazing. Absolutely yeah. incredible. We're still all kind of coming down from the high. Yeah. You'd think this many hours on, but no, it's still it's yeah. still right up there. So your set was very well received then? Yeah, we feel it went really well. You know, we... We're not exactly the most logical morning band, potentially. <laughs> it's a heavy wake up. It's a he yeah, it's a heavy wake up. It's a heavy alarm, but but people were there for it and they they loved it. So uh, and we loved it to be honest as well. We always feed off that energy, so it's fantastic to have. Yeah, that. That's a couple of coffees, a couple of Red Bulls. Exactly. Get you started. Yeah, you know, encourage people. Bring your bacon sarnie in. You can have a good time. <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, heavy metal for breakfast is never a bad thing. Oh no, exactly. It's what I do every day. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. That's the alarm. Or something. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Amazing. Um, so, in the run-up to Bloodstock, obviously you've just said your your site was very well received. Um, so, with any pre-fest media that you've done, have you found that your numbers have been going up on your social media, on your Spotify, and all that? Yeah, actually, yeah, which is amazing. Like, again, that's a, that's a thing. It's incredible to see for us because obviously, I think any any band that's kind of coming up knows this. Is you know you're not dealing in the tens of thousands. You're dealing in like that jump in ten a day is such a huge thing. Like, yeah. And and to be able to see it happening and to see kind of yeah like you say the reaction from kind of media and all these things that helps with it I mean it's amazing I mean you've, you've kept a really close eye on it yeah right? spot, spot five views going up to almost every time you check back to it go oh, I've got another yeah. another few more and it's, and it's, nice, it's nice for music to be sometimes it's an echo chamber you get yeah. in your own little bubble and it's it's nice for it to be other people interested and involved with it it's, it's yeah, nice. so it after blood so you check the spot fire maybe it's uh, tens of people it's hundreds of people exactly and that's, exactly. that's the hope that's isn't it that's the hope and the dream and it's it's it is exactly what you're saying it's when it's it's when it's people you know you don't know personally that's such a massive thing like yeah. we, we've started to get to that stage anyway and we're all still very much in that phase of kind of coming to a realization of that that someone started to listen to our music who you know it's, lives it's, it's, not, your, it's not your mates and it's not your mum <laughs> exactly <yeah. laughs> and it's that thing exactly. of like that's an amazing thing but it still feels very surreal but it's fantastic it's amazing to do amazing so for all the people that have not been able to make it to Bloodstock or the people that have never heard of Skoda before tell us a little bit about what your tunes are what your latest release is yeah yeah man so latest single Concrete Skull um, just released that out on Spotify it's kind of everywhere it's everywhere yeah, yeah. yeah. anything you can stream it on it's on there. yeah exactly I think we covered earlier didn't we Bandcamp's the only thing you won't find us on but that will change yeah, we will <laughs> that's change soon that. to be uh, so rectified everyone's got to keep an eye out for the score of band there we go exactly and, yeah. and that's where exciting you can, release. can get the stuff officially and support the band yeah exactly that's the goal and uh yeah, and we're working on a new EP, well, new full album, to be honest, at the moment. We've been working in releasing singles, drips and drabs as we go. Um, but we're hoping by the end of this year, full album drop. We've kind of got the material there. We're working on the final final bits of it. All, all homegrown, yeah. all done at home, recorded in, as bad yeah. as it sounds, recorded in bedrooms. But exactly, yeah. uh, Amazing. Yeah. So is doing things DIY quite important to you guys? You do a lot of business stuff DIY as well as recording? Yeah, it's been useful. It, you, you keep it in-house. There's not a lot of, oh, has this person who's three emails away done this thing for us? So it's quite nice to be like, we're going to do this, we'll do it now, yeah. and then it's out in the world. So, uh, so cutting out the middleman, essentially. Yeah, yeah, hugely. And it kind of it also gives you an appreciation, I think, of what an amazing job all these people are doing anyway. Like, I mean, the, the I'm always stunned like about the four other guys in the band, like, everything they're capable of amazes me all the time. So it's one of these things where to be able to kind of go, oh, who's the who's the merch guy, who's the producer, who's this, and it's like, oh, it's, it's one of you, is an incredible feeling for us. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, DIY. Yeah, so obviously you said you're working on some new stuff, so are you going to forgo the singles now and just focus on the album? So we're, we're kind of, yeah, it's sort of, we're kind of merging the two, so we're definitely finding that releasing almost a whole album just one by one as singles actually is really working for us. I think it helps as well if people are listening to music, it means there's multiple entry points, you know. If you yeah. didn't catch the first three, you might catch the next one. Um, and it's also this huge thing for us of, I mean, ultimately you have to play the system a bit, don't you? Yeah. You know, all of these systems, Spotify, all this stuff, it's built on these algorithms and all these kind of things. Yeah. So what we want to do is kind of cut out any you know, any business that goes on there that's going to mess people about and just get get the music straight to the people. So we're just going to keep releasing it as we've got them ready. And then once it's together, we'll package it all together and it will be the album. So hopefully what will happen is by the end of the year, 
you'll have heard a whole album and then suddenly you'll realise it's all together. There might be that, that final big launch of maybe the last few tracks. But yeah, yeah, that's the focus. So the kind of projection for a new score of stuff we're maybe expecting kind of maybe starting next year for the final release after yeah. you've got all the Yeah, we're, hoping, we're pushing for end of the year actually, aren't we? Yeah, yeah real, we realistic date. And then start pushing it to people, see if we can get... Yeah, exactly, use it as a launch pad. Yeah, so it's maybe yeah. for that metal head in your life, you know, it's a wee Christmas present maybe. Exactly, there we go, there we go, <laughs> perfect. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so, albums and stuff aside, um, what else is in the future for Scora in terms of like touring? Yeah, I mean, Ho hopefully to get some use this as a launch pad, I think. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. touring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, more, yeah, because because for us it's this. I mean, we've loved the culture here. That's just yeah. an oversight. Like this is just absolutely incredible here. We've loved it. We've loved everything about here. We're all very much keen of kind of like we want to be doing more of this, returning to this using it as a launch pad to us very much obviously new blood stage you work really hard to get there for a long time but it's yeah. it's just actually if anything it's the foot of the hill the rest yeah. of the mountains there to climb and we want to keep keep pushing forward with that and get more shows we're kind of trying to build more contacts around use the amazing resource that this is yeah. people like yourself um and kind of just break out of our own little bubble i think it happens to a lot of bands you yeah. know you really center around wherever you're based and we have such an amazing following there and we're really really appreciative uh, but then to be able to shoot across the country with all these people that we're meeting now, that's our that's our main goal. Amazing. So hopefully you won't have to keep travelling to us. We'll come, <laughs> we'll to, come you. to you. <laughs> that's, that's the hope. So while you've been here saying that, have you been able to get some networking opportunities? You maybe met some, some people that may be able to help you score a forward? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We've had a bit of names few, passed over that yeah, are good to get in contact over. with. And yeah. Like Sean said, having this is something we'd never be able to do without a festival putting the effort in to set it all yeah, up for huge it. massive shout out for that but like this as a concept is just amazing yeah we'd recommend it to any any band anyway it's just absolutely brilliant yeah so uh, how, well obviously saying that i'm assuming you've done metal to the masses so how yeah. did you find that experience in the metal to the masses i'm sorry you've done it in cheltenham where you're from yeah yeah, yeah. cheltenham which is is a really diverse one and uh i mean we've entered it twice uh, I, I mean to be honest we probably would have entered it more times but obviously the dreaded couple of years that we won't speak of disappeared in our eyes. But um, for us, I mean, we entered it the first time, got through on a wild card, uh, didn't make it through the final. So then coming back to it, we kind of had an experience of what it was going to be like. But the, the quality just keeps going up and up, and it pushes your game so much. Every battle was so good at that final. It was incredible. It's such a close final. and. I mean, for us as well, the exciting thing is we now get to go back to that scene, yeah. knowing all these new bands that turned out, yeah. you know, turned out for Metal to the Masses, and being able to go back and know that, I mean, for certain, I can just see amongst them, that's the next winner there, that's the next, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. So for us, again, it was a networking thing where we yeah. came off stage, of course it was amazing to win, and we were like, loving it. Yeah. But even even then, on the day, we said, well, we should just do another show with, with you guys. <laughs> this was amazing. Yeah. We've never done this before. Yeah. So again, even at the ground level, even without this as the end goal, the whole system of Metal to the Masses, Bloodstock, it just works brilliantly yeah. and offers so much to bands. It's yeah. fantastic. So that's, that's really, really sweet to hear. That it sounds like when you go home, you're maybe going to give back a little bit. Hugely, yeah. You know, yeah. See if you can help out the rest of the guys in your seat. Yeah, because we, we've had that, haven't we? Yeah, Cheltenham's got quite a good, like, again, DIY scene. There's a, a well known practice studio that's big enough for a venue. Yeah. So they put on a, a secret show where a group of bands will get together and just put out the word and then fill the room up with just people who just want to see bands. Nice. So that's a good Excellent. thing to do. It's a good thing to set up. Exactly, yeah. It just strengthens the scene, yeah. wherever you are. For sure. So, final question. Um, obviously, you're doing a few more interviews and then you're wrapping up today. Yeah. Um, so, party time later? Oh, I think so. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, indeed. For we sure. were very sensible yesterday, prepared for the show. But yeah, I think party time late, and it's my sugar as well. So there's no, that's that's. I think that's all of our kind of thing. So yeah, that that, that exact facial expression. Oh yeah, yeah, we're and going for it. We'll be the same again tomorrow. Are you sticking around? Oh, oh yeah, I think so. We're, we're here for the long haul. Now, we, I mean, we we arrived we arrived what a day before yesterday, Thursday, yeah, and I think yeah. within you know ten minutes of sitting down, we're like, oh yeah, we're home. Uh, we, yeah. we can stay here a while. <laughs> Amazing. So to sum up, um, overall, now that you've played, now that you've done some press and you've had some networking. How's the Bloodstock experience been overall for Scora and what's the best thing that you feel has been about Bloodstock for you guys this year? I mean, I mean, the whole experience overall, amazing, fantastic. I think beyond what we expected, the level of kind of support is fantastic. The way it's all done, I mean, everyone we've met has just been absolutely brilliant. Um, I think for me, maybe the best thing 
because we were discussing this actually before, is probably the fact that everything is kind of open to everyone that's performing. So it's not one of these where, you know, because you're on that stage, you're not going to get into this area or that area. Or It's a fact of, you know, you perform, you get that amazing feeling for performing. And then all of this is available to you kind of with the media yeah. and getting, getting those interviews in, all of the networking opportunities. And the fact that it very much feels like you're part of the festival. It doesn't, it really, I, I can't describe how integrated you feel if you're playing on the New Blood stage. Yeah. I think, understandably from the outside, you think, oh, is that going to be the one, you know, off in a corner, no, but no. The, yeah. crowd, the crowd response, the media, everything, it just feels like the whole experience. Yeah. It's, yeah, it makes me want to come back. Yeah, I mean, so I'll it, come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, mate, it, it's good that it makes you, you feel just as important as the headline band. Hugely, yeah. yeah. It's an amazing thing, because it also allows you to look up that ladder and go, that's where we want to be, that's where we want to head, yeah. and see a genuinely realistic route towards that, which I think for a long time is very difficult to see. Yeah, and you, you can see that from year on year, looking at lineups of Bloodstock as well, there's bands that maybe start on the new blood, and they maybe have a Jaeger slot, and then a couple of years' time they get invited back, and then they get yeah. invited back again, playing a bit higher up, like later in the day on the sofa, or maybe you get it's, to open yeah. the main stage or something. Yeah, and that's very much our hope, I think. That's what we'd really love to do. Yeah. It's, it really, this festival really encapsulates everything we love about the music we do, I mean, yeah, without even going into detail, the fact the Sophie Lancaster stage like, exists and what that stands for, I mean, oh, it's just amazing. Of course. Brilliant. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival, lads. Thank you very you much too. for your time. Thanks very much. No worries. Absolute pleasure.